Hey everybody, how you doing? Jagadi Covid here once again on Tuskegee Television Network here bringing you all of the news and today the sports that you need to know about. We are here on the historic campus of Tuskegee University for the weekly press conference with Willie J. Slater, the athletic director and the head coach of the Tuskegee Golden Tigers. So we're going to bring the press conference to you so that you can hear what's going on behind the scenes, if you would, here at Tuskegee University. Your game in Atlanta with uh, Clark Atlanta and preview this week's opponent with Missouri s &T. Okay, uh, the Clark Atlanta game. Uh, feel very fortunate to have won the game. I thought we started off slow, uh, and, but uh, they kind of got serious there after, after they drove it down our throat there, that first drive. And, uh, Played a lot better after that. Defensive, defensively, we played really well the second half. Uh, offensively, we still, it's going to be a grind for us. It's going to be a grind for us uh, the whole year, I think. But uh, we had some good things to happen. We just got to work on consistency. Got to be more consistent, consistent in areas. Uh, and then, we really have to work on our penalties too. We, we're getting some crucial penalties at crucial times. That's really hurting us. But uh, effort-wise, though, I, th I think the whole team is is working hard. They're playing hard, and uh, we just got to get better. Got to get better in areas. Uh, I think this is a good team, and they can do some good things. But it's going to be a, a grind for us. It's going to be tough. Good afternoon, Coach. How are you doing? Jagadi Colbert, Tuskegee Television Network Sports. Uh, congratulations on your win against Park Atlanta. And we have a team coming from the Northwest, coming all the way down to the pride of the Swift Growing South. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about them, what conference they're from, and what their record, if you do, look at if you do, if you don't? Uh, Great Lakes. The Great Lakes. The Great Lakes, yeah. Yeah. Great Lakes okay. Yes, sir. Uh, they're two and one. Uh, I know when uh, we were talking about them coming, uh, I recognized that they were, they played on the road a lot. And they're a really good road team. So, I mean, they'll come in here and they, they're going to be a good football team. It's going to be a great test for us. But, it, I mean, I think we need, uh, we need to play somebody outside to uh, give us a parameter of where we are. Uh, I one last question, Coach. Good, 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 good team for us. Sorry. One last of course, Coach, is our uh, starting quarterback now, is he, is he gelling quite well now? He's doing all the things that he needs to do to carry the Golden Tigers forward. Uh, he did pretty good last week. He, uh, he threw three touchdown passes, and he was the player of the week in the SIEC. Okay. And the team that they were playing was a pretty good defense, uh -huh. and uh, they probably couldn't run it against them, so <laughs> they had to throw the ball. So. Uh, you just don't, you don't ever know. I mean, the, the, you don't know what that game plan is. I know, I, I have seen, I've seen a quarterback, I've seen a running back, and I've seen the receivers. I can see why they want to throw the ball, because I think they have good receivers. Uh, I think they have a quarterback that can throw the ball. And, uh, but I think if given the opportunity, those running backs can hurt you. Gotta keep our defense like that. off the field. That's the first thing. And uh, that means we gotta try to, uh, control the ball against them, and that's not going to be an easy feat. I think they're very good up front. I think they have a great linebacker, number 21. Uh, and then, you know, they like to play a lot of man coverage on the outside. So uh, when you play man coverage on the outside, that means you can commit more people to the run. And, of course, we like to run the ball. But uh, yeah, we like to throw it, too. We, we'll try to take what they give us. But, uh, but I think they've... They match up with us pretty good, so we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to play our best game, I think. But the key is to keep try to keep our defense off the field as much as possible. Okay. We're excited about being at home. Uh, we uh, I don't know I don't know how they're gonna play. <laughs> this is a, I think it's a good group, but uh, at the same time I just I don't know right now. I don't I don't have my finger on them. Uh, I think our leadership is good. I think they play hard and they work hard in practice and all that stuff. But uh, we just have to wait and see. I, I hope they want to defend their home turf uh, as bad as I do. But uh, I don't know if that's possible. 
<laughs> but uh, we're excited about being at home. They want they want to be at home, so hopefully they'll play hard. It's going to be hot. We know that, so uh, we're used to it. So hopefully that'll give us some kind of advantage. I hope. Uh, I, I think the majority of the time they play good football. Uh, we've given up some big plays. Uh, you know, in the Alabama State game, we gave up a couple of big plays that really hurt us. And then uh, the game this past week, we gave up some plays, but we overcame them. Uh, so we uh, we're focusing on stopping that. You know, somehow we got to stop it. But I mean, it happens. It's happening to our young guys. We have some. We have some young secondary guys back there. That's. Uh, that's learning the game. I mean, but I mean, he turned around and he intercepts two, and he runs one back for a touchdown. But then, he, you know, he miss a tackle, and the guy ran it for a touchdown against us. So we got to we got to improve in that area uh, and not give up those big plays and be more consistent. Jagadi Culver at Tuskegee Television Network Action Sports. Here, once again, on the campus of Tuskegee University, we just concluded our weekly press conference with the head coach and athletic director of Tuskegee University, Golden Tigers, Willie Slater. And now we are preparing you. We know that this is a tape delay, but we want to give it to you right now anyway, in the present. We are here on the campus of Tuskegee University at the famed Cleve Albert Memorial Alumni Bowl right here on the campus of Tuskegee University with our game against the Missouri S&T Football Club from Missouri. This is our very first meeting with Missouri S&T and we don't really know what to expect but we do know this. We do know that the Tuskegee football team is the winningest black college football team in the United States of America and we have the greatest, did you hear me, the greatest fans in the land, right here at Tuskegee. Right behind me is the famed Cleve Albert Memorial Alumni Bowl. It is the first major black football stadium in the United States of America, founded in 1924. At that time, it had a cost of $50,000 in the year, I say again, 1924. And it has been rated over the years as the number one black college football experience in the United States of America. Why is that? Because here at Tuskegee Alumni Bowl, the fans, well-wishers and the opponents' fans, tailgate inside of the stadium. And what a glorious time that is, meeting and greeting all of your friends here at Alumni Bowl here in Tuskegee. You make sure that you have made your plans to come here and see your team, the Tuskegee University Golden Tigers, as they take on Missouri S&T here this Saturday. So that's it. That's all. That's Tuskegee Television Network Action Sports, and I'm Jagadi Colbert.